Hey, how you doing? Hi, uh, who are you here for? Uh, who are you here for? Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. On this channel, we do a lot of different things within the rideshare industry, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. But before we get started, if you have a crazy Uber Lyft experience, whether you're a passenger or a driver, record it, send it my way, and maybe we can feature you on the channel. All right, so I got a pretty crazy story for you today. This is another Say My Name uh, coming from a passenger, where in fact, I actually turned the tables and had them say their name um, and told them to check my car instead uh, to see who it is uh, because hey I don't know who you are uh, I don't know who I'm necessarily picking up and then I had to explain to them the reasons why what they're doing was the wrong way where the driver is supposed to ask and then um, at the very end of the ride uh, you know there's there's always some way to uh, uh, to make it better um, and at the end of the ride uh, it's pretty funny what happened so make sure you check around to see the whole thing um, but with that being said here you go guys check it out and I will be right back after how you doing uh, who are you here for uh, who are you here for <laughs> Who are you here for? Uh, you can oh. check my plate. Chelsea, give me the phone. I think it is me. Huh? I think it is. Are you Chris? Yeah. Wait, it is. Yeah. Why was that so hard? I don't uh, know. Because we asked who you are. Yeah, did you ask who we were? No, yeah. she asked. Oh. Alright, yeah, you're then heading then to Sterling Tap. Who are you there for? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't, all we get is a name. We don't know who... Yeah, you don't say the name? No. Oh. Oh, well, I'm not... Then I, that's like me saying I'm not going to say my name. Well, you got... you can just say, yeah, and I, how would I know? Well, you have plate, you have the make and model of the car, you have um, picture, so you can see who it is, and you can tell who it is. Oh, but we don't, gosh. we get a name and not things. A nope. No, not a... Oh, do we get yeah, it's on the Uber. And then not only that, like, people actually make up names, so it might not even be the real name. So we always got to make sure. But usually when you're picking somebody up at a house, you know, it's not that big of a deal. But when you go, like, at a bar or something or an event, that's a whole different story because there's a lot of people that are around that area and anybody could try and jump in. So how's the night going? Starting. <laughs> gonna go bar hopping tonight or just kind of stay at the same? No, we're just gonna stay we're just, we, we like to go um, here for karaoke. Oh, okay. We don't sing though. <laughs> <laughs> See how bad people are? It's yeah, fun. it's actually so much fun. Like, it's like, good like a music. weird crowd, but I don't know. When you're there and you just watch everyone, it's like, wow. Mm -hmm. So, how come you don't uh, go up and do karaoke? can't say. <laughs> it would be a shit show. I would laugh. But can anybody else really sing or not? No, they can't, but I don't know. I don't really have enough balls in a way. Gotcha. I'm right there with you. If I go to karaoke, I'm, I'm watching as well. Yeah. It's just, I like to just sit there and sit laugh. back and people hmm. watch it. Because like, you still sing along with them. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, but now. Like, when go ahead. I'm up there, I, I don't feel like that. I feel like everyone's fucking staring at me like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right, now what about if you're at a hypno show? Would you go up uh, to get hypnotized or would you no. sit back? <laughs> I didn't. I tried it dinner. once in college and I was I had so much anxiety. I was shaking the whole time because I had a weird feeling it would be me to go up there. Uh-huh. And I'm like, oh, God. So, like, I did, I, like didn't follow it. Like, do you know when someone tries to hypnotize you, like, you a friend really or something, it. and you're just like, mm -hmm. this ain't gonna, really gonna happen. Mm -hmm. But, like, with someone who's li literally in it, I'm like, i just too scary to me. Gotcha. Why, have you ever done that? No, no, I'm, I like watching everybody, although I think I'm gonna try it. I never know what to believe. Yeah, I know, like, how... I don't understand what they do. I don't think I like, could let, are like, you, loose. Are you unconscious? 
or what is it? Um, from what I hear, I guess you're still awake. It's just that you, like, take suggestions very easily. Like, you're in a different kind of mindset. Um, like, really relaxed from everybody I've talked to that actually has done it. Um, but personally, I don't know because I haven't done it yet. I feel like that sounds a little scary. Like, yeah. oof, I don't know. <laughs> I did it for my senior dinner and I got too scared, so I got up. Because he's like, if you're not feeling this, stand up. Yeah. So I stood up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they have that guy at the fair every year, so I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Oh, really? Yeah. I made him. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Me Thanks too. so much. Yep, enjoy. Thanks. Maybe stop in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. So add that to the list of things that drivers are, and that is teacher. We're already a driver. We're already a babysitter. We're already a, a therapist. We're plenty of other things as well, too. But just add teacher to it. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because we have to re-educate passengers on this say my name stuff. Again, passengers, you have the license plate number. You have the make and model of the car. You have the, our picture. You have our name. You can even call us and see us talking on the phone with you. And then that works as us verifying that is it is correctly you as well too. Um, but don't come in the car and say, who are you here for? Or say my name or any of that crap. Because guess what? I'm going to tell you every time, go look at my license plate. Look at my picture like I did. Um, but I'm going to turn the table around on them and say, who are you here for? What's, what's your driver's name? What's your name? Something like that. Um, but yes, again, stop doing the say my name passengers. It's not the right way. Verify the information you already have. Uh, and news media, if you are watching this, stop telling them the wrong thing. You are apparently not drivers. You don't even talk to drivers on the best safety course. You probably don't even talk to Uber or Lyft. You just come up and say, oh, yeah, have the driver say my name. And that's where it all started. But guess what? That's not the case. That's not what you should be doing. You should be looking at the information you are provided with already. If you do that, you know who it is. You know who you're talking or you know who's picking you up. We, on the other hand, as drivers, we don't know. We get a name that's probably not even a right name and a pickup location to a pinned location. Uh, and that's really it. So, yes, we need to verify. We can call you as well, too. Um, but if you're standing right there, uh, just either say what your name is, say the driver's name, uh, who's picking you up. As long as something like that's verified, not a big deal. In this one circumstance um, on this video, it was really funny, though, because, yes, I had to re-educate them. I had to turn the tables on them because, you know, uh, they're, uh, unfortunately, say in the wrong here. Um, but... You know, just try and re-educate them. And then the rest of the ride, we had a good time. You know, so uh, it was fun. It was a good conversation. We enjoyed. And if you noticed at the very end there, she's inviting me into the bar. So you come in saying, say my name or what's my name. And then at the very end, you're saying, hey, maybe we'll see you in there. Uh, so, you know, you can really turn the tables on that kind of things. Um, but guys, everybody out there. Um, just re-educate the passengers if they do say, say my name. Don't just cancel the ride, you know, talk to them. It's really what it's all about. You can turn the table kind of like I did um, at the very beginning, um, but just re-educate them. You know, you have all of this information at your discretion. Use it um, because that's the right way. Or if you come up to the car and say, say, the, say your driver's name or your name um, first, meaning you actually say, hey, are you here for... Anna, or are you here for John, or are you Chris, or are you Mike, or, or whatever it might be. Um, in that circumstance, uh, that's going to be a great thing to do. Um, but that's the end of today's video, so hope you guys learned a lot again. But yeah, uh, just re-educate your passengers. Also, if you run into uh, circumstances like this, comment below on what you do, whether you just roll with it uh, and just don't say anything 
or if you cancel on the passenger or if you can help re-educate them. Um, comment below, let me know what you do because everybody's going to be different. Everybody's going to handle it differently. Um, but with that being said, that's the end of the video. So make sure you uh, subscribe, ring the bell and hit the, sorry, hit the bell for notifications so you've been notified every time a new video is uploaded. Uh, make sure to smash that like button. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers and we'll see you next time.